So one of the natural outcome of continuously embracing the discomfort in the body is peace. There's uh, many beautiful saying, including, you know, from the Buddhist uh, Bodhisattva vow, so on, in the middle of uh, suffering, in the middle of uh, storm, in the middle of uh, overwhelmingness of life, in the middle of uh, violence, we can choose peace. But how to do that? That's the process I'm sharing. Is embracing the discomfort, come from the suffering of self, suffering of others, come from whatever storm, whatever even violence. more we're able to embrace that discomfort inside of in the middle of uh, Tamoy, more we can discover peace. And the beauty is, this is also the same process for healing. The more you embracing the symptom, embracing the discomfort, the pain, the more you can discover the deeper energy, deeper possibility of opening of the energy, the more you can improve health, healing. You know, uh, in the theoretical level, but I think it's uh, more than possible. With everything we're doing, are uh, important, but uh, imagine if you sitting in a position, not necessarily comfortable position, maybe in the most challenging position to embrace your pain, discomfort, and continue that process for five days. All the disease will be healed. All the suffering will be liberated. Of course, I'm giving, you know, a random number here. It's not a promise. What I'm saying is when you able to do that beyond the thinking mind, thinking, you know, if you do this for one hour, it's quite powerful already. If you do this five days, imagine that deep transformation, deep awakening, deep healing. So the point is, uh, average-wise, most of us not able to do that yet. That's why we still need to engage with different activity do the movement practice, do the sound practice, doing the visualization practice, doing the meditation practice, all that. 